My father was a Holocaust survivor. He was a sole Jewish survivor of his small little village in Poland. Um, it was so devastating to hear what he went through and the very fact that, uh, you know, I never got to know anybody in my, on my paternal side of my family because they were all murdered just for being Jewish. Um, that became to me as the motivating factor for my life in, in human rights work. This concept of taking life simply because you happen to be born of a particular color, of a particular gender, of a particular faith, that is something that as human beings we have to work against. You must never take human rights for granted. In a flash, it can be gone. Now Jews talk about their experience with the Holocaust. First Nations and Indigenous people today are beginning to talk about their experience with residential schools. We must repeat these stories over and over again so that people do not forget. You know, there is a Jewish precept called Tikkun Olam. And it is a precept of, uh, we are commanded as human beings to leave the world a better place than when we entered it have an opportunity, as everybody does, to leave this world better than when you found it. So that's what motivates me. Whenever there is darkness, I look for cracks of light. Sometimes you have to, you know, search for it, but it's there. And by looking for it, maybe, you know, making that crack a little bit wider, uh, we get to change the world.